Hi everyone, uh, we are today streaming the semi-final of uh, the Cup of Nation. I am with Marvin. Hi Marvin. Hi Roma. And with Raphael, also another team member. How are you Raphael? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Perfectly fine. Ready to watch uh, one of the, I think one of the uh, a tough match of the Cup of Nation would say China proved to be very strong country and obviously Germany being like uh, as good as you expected right both of you yeah I mean we are a little bit biased here today so <laughs> <laughs> but still I'm, pr I'm, pr I'm pretty impressed by the um, by the Chinese results so far so it will be a tough match yeah I think they trained a lot sure. really a lot I've seen them uh, like really like train together and that basically lead to being very strong so just to make a very short summary of how it, it's played uh, three player against three player one of the player will play first contact the, the two other will play one uh, evolution and the other one will play beyond eternity and then they face each other in, the, in each team to face first contact against first contact and so on uh, and the team that win at least two match is winning the whole match. Uh, it's best of three, and here we will watch the first contact set. We can say that they both both countries have have gone a long way already. There was like a a group phase, and uh, they had to be like first or second in their in their group in their group to process to the um, to the next stage. And then I think we started with top 16 yeah and now we are down to top four and uh, the winner of this match will go to the finals exactly so it's Kalzit against Young Fan so Kalzit the German player and Young Fan the Chinese player uh, let's start so on the bottom Kalzit and Young Fan on the top uh, we've seen four cards being removed uh, from the uh, card okay. beside the player, so no Berserker. So they are playing specifically with the World Championship set. So it's all the card from the base set minus the Girafodile plus only one copy of every card from the grid pack. Yeah, so and we see we have seen that quite often. Tastex Torta is like a typical turn one card. So yeah. if you if you have it, people play it in turn one all the time. True, very easy to play it. I mean, he can yeah, put yeah. some pressure for turn one if the opponent. Yeah, I think it asks it asks a nice question to the opponent because I mean there are not too many creatures yeah. that can beat it power wise. So I mean, and in that case, I would I'm surprised that uh, Kalzit played the Rhino Turtle instead of attacking with the Just Starter because yeah. it's a, still a good trade. You defeat the yeah. Explosive Toad and then you remove one card from the opponent hand. Yeah, it's a two for one. So I'm also a bit surprised. I would have expected an attack here. How about you, Rafi? Would you have attacked with the Tastic Starter? Same. Always when I play the Tastic Starter in the first turn and the opponent doesn't have any tough tough answer that can stand the attack and then attack me back, I always go go for the, you, that one attack in the first round. Would you also have attacked into the Plated Scorpion if that would have been the first play no. from Young Fan? No, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you me, remove one neither. card, you lose one life. Mm, not sure. Yeah, a life is... A life is... It's still good. Your life is alive, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you only have three of them. Yeah, especially that early, you don't really know what you need. Uh, imagine you have the Yenix mm. later in the game, it's pretty bad if you lose one life very early without knowing your world tech, so... So it's funny, they're both playing card and not willing to attack. And yeah, that's they, a moment. They... I mean, the Tusk as a starter is still a really good attack. It is, it is. Uh, and Young Fun is building like a... Yeah, a strong both, defense both here with two, two poisonous creatures, one of it being tough, and then the explosive toad being basically like a bomb again. Could have mind bugged the second explosive toad, you know, to have like basically yeah. the best defense wall of all time. Yeah, I think that would have been the best defense I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> I think that Talseed also needs to watch out when he plays a snail thrower, because if he played it right now, it's oh, yeah. very likely that Young Fang is just going to use a mind bug and then it's super tough to deal with all those poisonous and, uh, creatures, but also have Hunter. Yeah, Yeah. so mm -hmm. Snail Throw would be super good for Young Fang at this point. I mean, Kalzit also have 
uh, shield bug that is quite good with the stainless thrower, but you don't want yeah. to give the stainless thrower to your opponent at that time. I mean, you can still remove the remove it with the explosive toad, but uh, not sure you want to use it like that early. So, how do you how do you like the compost dragon play here? I mean, it's like. It's not bad know, it's... because the young fan doesn't get anything from it if he if he mind bugs it. Yeah, but I would I would say you just let it go from young fan and then you hunt the compost dragon with the kick from the deep. And okay, you lose it, but it's still up to your opponent to find a solution against this sneaky. And you still have to mind bug, so the pressure is quite high. Yeah, I think the issue here is that the creep from the deep it cannot really hunt the compost dragon because it's power four due to the shield bugs. So it would go to the grave if it to the discard pile as well. I mean, so I'm not sure can, if it is it's worth it. It still can hunt it, but you'd lose it. Yeah. Oh, but I believe playing the Goblin and Werewolf here yeah. should be a mistake. Yeah, yeah because the Compost Dragon yeah. can just take it down right away. I think yeah. that, that's, that's just a misplay, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he should, uh, maybe he oversee. Like, okay, I want to attack with the creep from the deep, and they say, oh, yeah, I can play the Hunter because it's lower than that my Hunter, but forgot that the opponent also have one. And now, I mean, the Grave Robber, now if you play it and your opponent mind bugs it, you get the, your own uh, Compost Dragon that brings back one of the two cards from, from the opponent. So it's really bad now to play the Grave Robber. You basically cannot play it, yeah, right? Before, play before it. he spent his yeah. mind bugs. And I'm still, I, I wonder why Kalazit want to attack with this Explosive Toad, which is really good defensively. And the Tusk Starter would be very nice uh, to attack with it. Yeah, yeah again, so it's defeated he, before doing he this. He <laughs> twice without activating it. Yeah, crazy. I mean, losing one card at that time for Young Fan would be like may maybe a disaster, you know, like uh, only four cards uh, to finish the game and two mind bugs. It's really hard to come down. Even if there is a Yenix, you can still discard the Yenix. Uh, I'm all, also all the. Time. Yeah, I'm also a bit uh, surprised of the first block of the um, of Young Fun when Kalzit attacked with the uh, explosive toad. Yeah, and he blocked you know? also with the explosive toad. He also blocked with the explosive toad. We gave him like a second time, second chance to attack. He could have blocked with the bladed scorpion right away. Yeah. Because he shouldn't have been super um, super scared about um, about the Tastix Torter with the um, with the Hyenix in hand. So the first attack is basically free for him. First discard. Yes. Because the Hyenix can come back from the discard pile anyway. Interesting decision here to use a mind bug on the Majestic Manticore. I don't believe that the Majestic Manticore in general is such a good card for Young Fun right now. I think the main issue is that he has only four cards left to play, and Cal uh, still has two mind bugs. And with a with a board plate, with just the plate of scorpion, the loot shutter, and the cards on the sand, it might be hard for him to get around the rhino turtle and shield bugs. I mean, if you look at the at the hand here, there is four cards. Only two of them will be played, and basically this one is super strong. You can play it. This one is super strong. You cannot play it. And that left only the turbo bug, which is pretty bad at the, at that time, and the Yenix. So basically, if he play any of those four cards, it's either one mind bug or not a mind bug, 100% sure. So it, that, yes. it's Young Fan in a very bad situation right now. You have to finish the game with uh, the card you have on the table. Yeah. For me, Young Fan is in a pretty bad spot here with like own, no mind bugs left. Yeah, and he, and he cannot defeat the Rhino Turtle also. The Chatter is still a... Still not uh, strong enough to, to pass all those big guys, so I think he may attack with the. I, I would not have played the Yenix, and I would attack with the Plated Scorpion. So if the Plated Scorpion is defeated, you can attack with the Majestic Manticore, defeat the Shield Bug, and then the Luchator is blocking the wall board. But you don't you don't mind pack the Yenix here, right? No, 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 never. It's like I mean, you don't care about that. It feels like you know your your opponent is desperate, desperate of yeah. playing. I, I want to play something because I don't oh. know. Basically, this is game over here, right? Because he has to yeah. discard two cards, and the last card can, can be mind yeah. So, and he's, if I see, he's not winning on board. Yeah, and that's sad because even the majestic Monte Monticore cannot get rid of the ferret bomber because of this plated plate of scorpion. So yeah, it's so funny that the plated scorpion is so bad for young fan at that time. 
Yeah, now you mind back because why not? Yeah, grave over is. Yeah, I think that's just pretty much game yep. over. Yeah, that game. But that's act that's actually the best of the best move he could do here, right? Getting I mean, rid yeah. of the plated scorpion, Calcite, so that he gets us, so he gets a strong attack from the majestic Manticore next turn. Yeah. I mean, if, if I mean, if Cal did say, let's say, okay, I mean, you don't care. Grave Robber, I think, was also a good blocker. Yeah. So. But here now we want to attack that's... with the majestic Manticore, but we need to get rid of the. Oh. Shield, and that's. Yeah, that's game over. If the Majestic yeah. Monticore attack, the Grave Robber will block it, and yeah. the Shield Bird will just never die, so... Yeah, that, that's over. No, no mistake from Kazit. Yes. So. Yeah. So Even that's... though it didn't look as close, it was pretty close. If uh, Young Pan had any way to get yeah. rid of the, death, uh, of the Shield Bug or the Snail Thrower, he could have won, because Without the shield bug, the loot shadow would have been able to beat any other creature. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, with the sneaky and the two two uh, tough creatures, I don't know if he was, uh, you know, like able to race for life. But uh, yeah, definitely something possible if the yeah. But he could have got rid of the sneaky creatures with uh, uh, majestic manticore if the shield bugs wouldn't be there. So yeah, if he no. could have gotten rid of those. I mean, you remember this goblin werewolf that he threw away? Yeah. I think with yes. that card, yes. maybe it just have like the win with just that card being in. You are absolutely right. The but there is one mind bug left still on Kalzit's side. True, but I mean, yeah. Not easy to say, but uh, yeah, I think definitively close game. Yeah, but that's uh, one, 1 0 for Germany. Yeah. Let's go to the second game. And here we are. Okay, Strange Barrel. And Goblin Werewolf, so no strange barrel. Okay. Uh, one another Tastic Torta. See, we, see, we need another opening from a Tastic Torta. Yeah. And here we, he, <laughs> yes, slammed, he slams it on the table. <laughs> and yeah, Young Fun also have one. So may is also a really nice card to open the game. Yeah. Uh, also, Turf to the Surfer is also a good opener. Yeah. Really good one, but it could be a bit dangerous if you my opponent mind bug it and you know, like try to raise your face with it. Yes, it could, could be bad, but okay. Same so now we have the same situation. Yeah. Do you attack into a bladed scorpion? No, you don't. Oh, you see, tough. Tur tough is a good answer for that. Yeah, could be annoying here, but I could see young fun mind bugging this card and trying to I don't, some pressure. I don't think so. Oh, that's. Also a good counter for those two. I mean, so true. the hamster line doesn't allow the other two peep, uh, creatures to attack. Yeah. Mm, I mean, it's always, I, it's, I always have so much fun watching these games. True. It's always a lot of fun. Okay. So no attack possible on Kalzit's side. So you have to play a card. Which is maybe not something you want to do. It would have been better for him, I think, to attack with something. But uh, yes, but I mean that's that's cool. Now the shield bug would be really nice because you have uh, the shield bug not being able to attack, and the two the two power uh, nine guys. Okay, that's a mind bug. Then. Oh, I don't like the spot of Galzit right now. Yeah, I think the mind bug wasn't too bad because. Uh... I think it's having uh, the having a power nine hamster line to fight against those two power eight creatures is not the worst. Yeah. But still, I'm not sure I would have mind back there. Yeah. Um, Snail Rider is not enough for taking care of this. Uh, this is uh, the board from Young Fan. The Plated Scorpion mm. is really good at defending it, and. I'm still lion also power nine is enough so I don't know and it will not be able to attack oh it decide to mind oh, this one so he's oh. using a mind bug. He's, That's really he's, aggressive. Pre he's pretty aggressive with his mind bugs, Young Fan. I mean the the table of Young Fan is quite cool. Shield bug, I'm still lion nine power, snail hydra at ten, to plated scorpion. <laughs> uh, yeah, but doesn't have a good answer to a sneaky creature. I have like at two... least I mean hamster line is an answer oh, at the moment. I mean, but... You see what what he has done? Two two times the compost dragon, so it's like 
It's super cool for him now. Yeah, it's just yeah, a free play. <laughs> I think he was just waiting for the situation yeah, exactly. to have this <laughs> <laughs> asymmetrical compost dragon. And now, even if it's like a mind bug from Kalzit, he can play the second one. Mm. So if you what you what you can see here from those players, they always try to get to a situation where they the card that allows them to play something from a discard pile Yo. is only giving a benefit to, for them, you know. And now uh, Kalzit had to mind bug it or mind bugged it and didn't get any benefit, real benefit from it. Mm -hmm. And it's actually giving a second benefit to Young Fun as well, yes, because now, now the Snail Hydra yeah, is active. Too. Now he has a way to yeah, get yeah. rid of the Tiger Sport as well. Yeah, yeah I think the attack. the attack with the Snail Hydra now oh, is doesn't super want to... Oh, okay. okay. I, I think the attack would have been the right choice, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the attack was super strong and then you saved your Compost Dragon for later. But maybe you want to play it right now, so you can also have the same benefit, like forcing the opponent to mind bug something yeah. that is completely useless. So. Yeah, you're right. Otherwise, he would have yeah. had uh, would would have the choice to get the Tiger Squirrel back, yeah, back and awesome. even get the play effect back. Yeah. This is like a, a huge board now. We don't see this so too often. I mean, also for Kalzitz, uh, why, why yeah. did he this defeated is, this the... Is an, this is a nice hunter attack yeah. now. <laughs> it's a crazy one. Because he, he chose... Oh, what? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. The, oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, that's, no, that that's, that's super smart. Line. Yeah, that's super smart. Yeah, the hamster lying is blocking all the power three creatures to attack. So he wanted to get yeah. rid of the one card. Yeah. The, so what, what, he wanted to protect something from the, from the creep from the deep, right? Yeah, but probably the, the hamster, hamster lion, yes. And the... Probably the hamster lion or the snail hydra? I mean, I'm My still alive right now. Is blocking, preventing the tiger squirrel to attack. So I think it's good to keep yeah, it alive. Yeah. I, my feeling is that Young Fun is really valuing the Snail Hydra super high. Yeah. He mind bugged it super highly, and he protected it all yeah. the time. Oh, and that attack is super strong. That, oh. That's a strong attack here. I mean, Kalzit is, is a bit on the back, back yeah. foot here at the moment. What about the Bug Circle, which is maybe the... I know, no, because of the Plated Scorpion. I think it cannot do anything. Yeah, but I mean, it can defend at least. If he yeah, now doesn't block and plays it, it what? can at least... What? Yeah, so... Okay, so just to make doing. this... Okay. Oh, um, I mean, it can just continue attacking okay. with... With the Plated Scorpion, the plated scorpion which is, I think... To activate attack. the Snail Hydra? I think that's a good no, idea. That's activate. a good attack. It will not activate the Snail Hydra. No, no, but not if now. he keeps doing it, it will be... At some point, will it, will it activate it. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's like... Oh, that's also a nice play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's great. And you see that so the Axolot Healer also is in his hand. So basically, yeah. you know that he has plenty of stuff to make this guy crazy. I... I, I really like Count Dracoli too as a healer in hand. Oh yeah, that's a really good card if you get those. Okay. So what do you get rid of the Rhino Turtle I for sure the because the you have Rhino enough Turtle. strong creatures? And maybe maybe the Majestic Monticore because you don't need, especially because you have the Hamster Lion. Yeah, so and it's, keep... still, it's again bad with the Blade of the Scorpion. I mean, so I really. Oh, oh, okay, okay. How many cards? No, 5-5, five, five, right? Yeah. Yeah, but he can so start what? using life. His life. Too. What, is, what is he getting rid of? The Ferret yeah. Bomber? So he cannot attack with any sneaky. Yeah, but now he's losing it against the Backstalker, unfortunately. True, but I think it's still like fine because he's winning on the board. Yeah. So I think he wants to force him play any other card and. The Froblin Instigator is quite an issue, but it's getting really no. bad if you play it and there is a yeah, Snail Hydra. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad with a Snail Hydra, but... No, I think he's, he's screwed, uh, Kalzit. You can do that, but you cannot prevent... Yeah, I mean, that's a smart... No, that's not Sport. a smart play. No, what Kalzit is doing, he's getting rid of one of his creatures so yeah. he can play another uh, card from his hand. Right now, if he plays a card, Snail Hydra gets active again. Yeah, true, but I mean, it's not. It, it's I don't I don't know how we get rid of the Plated Scorpion because the Plated Scorpion is getting rid of the Bug Circle, and then he lose. Yeah, Bug Circle is only good on the de defense at the moment. 
and this might have been his cho his option for to get rid of the. Uh, it's easy. You attack with the majestic Manticore, and now the problem is pretty bad. I don't get how you win. Oh, yeah, that's over. You cannot win anymore. No, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I feel like the hamster line was really big this game because yes, it did a lot. Because he had lot sneaky creatures, but he just couldn't utilize them because they were let's, not allowed to attack. No, no. Let's see if he. I oh, no, no. He have one life. Oh, that's super bad. If he got two life, he could have won this. I mean, because he need to attack the plated scorpion still... with his hunter, and he cannot do that because of the one life. What? Why can't he do it? Because so he, he can only one with life. A with a Froblin, he can attack the Bladed Scorpion, right? No, no, yeah, yeah. No. He can now, he can now he can attack, just in Now he can Scorpion. attack. Ooh. And then he sh yeah, should but, win, uh, right? Mm, well... No, because he can keep the Stain Hydra alone, defeat the... No, and... Uh, he can know. still win from here. Yeah, I think so as well. If he and he still has one Windback left. But maybe, nah. Oh, this could be a very interesting situation where only the Snail Hydra and the Bug Circa are on the board, and then the yeah. Axolotl is played, and when you yeah. mind bug it, Snail yeah. Hydra can attack, she can destroy one of the creatures yeah, you have exactly. to block with the I other one. I think that's and it, yeah. Then you still have two life points left, but you don't have any moves yeah. to make, because you have no cards left to play, yeah, and that's so not you the attack board. With the Bug and then you just lose. Is, yeah, yeah, true. Oh, yeah. Could be could be a very strange scenario. I mean, you can still mind bug the Axolot, then block with the Axolot, then block with your life and get back to one life and... But here... <laughs> yeah, that's not... It's not... It doesn't... He's playing right. He's it's... playing well. He's playing really well. Yeah, it's not... It, it, it didn't look like a correct move, but actually it's most important stuff is to not have fewer creatures than the yeah. opponent at the moment. And now the first one that he's attacking is in a bad spot. Because if yeah, now it's the question if you play the card. Yes, you, you are playing the and card. And I think that's a big trick. It's like, do you let you... it to me and lose your bug circle to it? Or uh, you... do you mind bug it and then I activate you, the you ha he has He has to mind bug because... And yeah. otherwise, otherwise he loses. So now the bug circa is going down. But now you need to be no. now you don't carefully. You, you don't Yeah, but you fall too. Yeah, I mean But then you have to attack you, and you yeah, lose. Yeah, have to attack and that's a bad You, can, you can't block with a bug. No, you cannot block with bug circa. He's losing from here, there's no way no. to win from here, I think. Yeah. You have to no. oh, Are but you I sure? would Yes. I mean what is he doing? He's not he has to yeah. attack now. Attacking attacking with a turbo bug now? Yeah, but that's it. You then block with the snail Hydra, has to block. and then you attack with the plated scorpion in the loop, and that's it. True, it's over. I think that was tricky. I, I mean, maybe there was a way to win if you play yeah, a if, bit differently. If, I don't know. Yes, if we go like three or four turns back, I think there could have been a way to win. Yeah, it's a tricky situation. But yeah. oh, what? Okay, okay. I mean, you don't you don't care, but plated scorpion is. is yeah, and that's it. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, it's a really cool game, this one. Like, uh, this was a really cool balls, game, and... Really nice plays. Yeah, I, th I think now Young Fun loves the Snail Hydra even a bit more. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this, this big guy is quite cool. It's super strong in, in a lot of situations, so... Okay, really, really nice game. I really appreciate this one. And I'm even not sure that... Uh, yeah, that we one, one. understood everything about that game because it was quite tricky to get into the correct play every turn from both sides. Yes, I, I said I wonder if we if we go back if there is like a so you remember there was the still the hamster lion on board. Yes, and I wonder if there is a play where the hamster lion at the end is blocking the last creature to attack and you win by that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, could be. But I'm not. But I'm not sure. I wasn't able to calculate it through. It was too yeah. many creatures still on the board. But I, it could have been. 
Yeah, but you've seen that uh, Kalzit attacking with the hunter into the snail hydra to prevent the snail hydra attacking, so he was clearly knowing yeah. that he had a high chance, but I think it was super fun that the Axolot healer was the perfect counter to that situation. Yeah. Yeah, actually, actually it was super actually actually it was super good yeah. in this case. <laughs> it in was crazy spot. good. And it was a super difficult mind pack decision. Yeah. I mean, it's funny to say that giving two, um, giving the a card plus two life to your opponent make it make him lose, because that was the case for this one. It's like, oh, you are safe because I have a card in my hand, and I, I and you think that you can use the mind bug on it at any time, and I will not be able to prevent you doing that. But yes, you can, because the card you play is like giving two life, and say, oh no, I don't want the two life, but I cannot <laughs> give you this. Uh, poison it's not a main ability. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. Okay, let's move and it's funny that. enough that in the end, the two cards that were mind bugged had such a high impact in the game. The uh, Hamster Lion and also the Snail Hydra basically carried the game by themselves. Completely. And those and two creatures two... were mind bugged right in. Yeah, there was two very early mind bugger from, from Young Fan. Yeah. So, yeah, really, very good game. Let's jump into the third one. Oh, there goes the snail hydra. Whoa, 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 whoa! So one snail hydra. Oh, what? okay. This one, this guy is only one, uh, one copy. It's lost, and also this guy one copy. It's, it's lost in that game. So yeah. we'll seems not like a lot that. of the card that had a big impact. Also, one of the yeah. exploitable healers gone. <laughs> and no tusk is starter for an opening. Cool. Come on, Roma, you, you did that on purpose, right? That's in the algorithm. If a card had a too big big impact on the game before, it's just going out. Exactly. The next game. <laughs> Oh, that's also a card I love opening with. It makes like the opponent feel like not very comfortable. Like, oh come on, I, I should should I really lose one life uh, right now? And he decides yes. Okay, Majestic Mortico is a quite good answer because it's one life for one life, and he will lose his card. So yes, but Majestic Mortico is often a very good second second card on the board. It's a very good answer to many yeah. creatures. I think I think those players, because they are quite now quite professional player, they know that the Majestic Monticore can defeat itself if there is like a, no card below itself. So you can you play know. around sometime. Lone Yeti. Ooh, I think that's there. an interesting choice because it kind of prevents the Majestic yeah. Monticore to attack. Because yeah. if it attacks, the turret pacifier get destroyed and clone yeti gets life and gets frenzy and power 10 and then, and then it can block the attack life. from majestic manticore and frenzy attack and you'd be down to one hp yeah that's 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 crazy how they play like one perfect counter to another card and then the other one is also playing the perfect counter okay so now that's yeah that's annoying for the majestic uh no, for young fan and young that fan was is... expected what it's still right very, now? very aggressively mind bugging. Yeah, I think you block with the four power. And now you get your lone yeti online. Yeah. And attack twice, right? Yeah. And I know Marvin, you love to see a lone yeti like rushing at at, at your opponent. Yes. <laughs> but there's still a lot of answers from uh, Kalzit. Yeah. So. That that axel healer is quite annoying. Plus two life, so that means this frenzy attack did not do much. And yeah, so but he's not. Blocked. I don't. He's not mind bugging that, right? I don't think so. Well, he has the Phoenix in hand. Could uh, yeah, could be. But three no. life is enough for it, and he also has the Gory Lion in hand, which is like uh, the two power ten card. As on uh, on the Yang Fan side. Yeah, I think Hyenix is a good play here, so you can. You want to get it out early, so you can get it back some a few times and. It's pressuring the Axolotl healer. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a... It's a tricky card to use the Yenix, but it's usually very powerful and you get a lot of tempo and a lot of value out of this card if you manage to play it well. Because yes, I, for me, for me, it's a card you have to... You somehow have to go all in for that card. Yeah, yeah, kind of. You have so to you invest cannot, into it. You, you cannot let your opponent have cards like a Rhino Turtle, for example. <laughs> because it really... It really it's like, I don't know, taking away all the fun. <laughs> True. I mean, the Lone Yeti can get rid of the Reno Turtle later, and the Yenix can come back, so... And there's also the Girl Lion in his hand. 
So I feel like when someone is playing a snail thrower, it always is hard what to do. Because yes, for now, there's only the Exolot healer that is gonna benefit from its effect and get the hunter and poisonous. But you never know what cards are in his hand as well. Maybe he's playing a plated scorpion in the next turn that you usually wouldn't mind bug, but then you're sort of forced to use a mind bug. So always have call. Yeah, so what he's doing, I believe, is trying to get rid of, uh, trying to get rid of the snail thrower as soon as possible with his, always, with his explosive I... toad. When I see this going down, I always say, come on, you you have a shield bug in your hand. Come on, you have it, I know yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing you can have in mind when you see uh, the opponent playing a safe sword without any card beside it. Okay. I mean, okay. Easy block from Yang Fan. I think so too. And I think you will not attack a then second time. Not a, one of the few situations where you don't see... Uh, yeah. Second attack from Frenzy? Yeah. That's pretty rare in the first contact set without the upgrade pack. But, uh... Here goes a mind pack for the gorilla. I think that was the answer that he was searching for. So look at the hand of Kalzita. Kalzi yeah, there was. Basically, no card to, to get rid of the lone yeti except the Axel Tealer. Yeah. I think that's what he mind pack did. Yeah. He mind buggy quite, quite fast. I think it was like, okay, that was one of the answers I needed. Ferret Bomber, but only four cards left for Young Fan. I really don't like this. Yeah. Two of them, two of those cards, can bring back cards from the graveyards. He has the Grave so Robber and also the Compost Dragon. You think he will keep them both? Okay, yeah. He keep yeah, them. he will keep both yes. of them. And Now he has a lot of options. What is he getting back? Good question. Uh... I don't know. I mean, it could you... be the Death Weaver. Could... Yeah, I think so. I... Oh, Explosive Toad. Explosive Toad is also quite good. You can get rid of the Goy Lion or the, or the Ferret Bomber, but he chose the Spider Hole. I mean, the Spider Hole is good because it contests the Ferret Bomber, but... I mean, if the Rhino Turtle oh. start attacking... Wow. That's a pretty... That's now a pretty... the Kangasaurus Rex can be big. Oh, yeah. Oh, that hurts uh, a lot. Mm. I don't like that. Uh, I am not sure there is a very good card there, but... So... Not helping that much. Okay, he played the Majestic I... Monticore. Well, what I want to question here is, was it right to play the um, Compost Dragon before the Grave Robber? I mean, you could have played the Grave Robber and kept the kept the Compost Dragon yep. for later to get back the Grave Robber to get even one card more out of it. True, but you see the discard of Kalzit is really quite bad, basically. Yes, but I mean, there are some cards in play, you know. So what happened right now? The Magic Speed Monticore is is the only oh, one able this... to defeat the Gory Lion. But the second attack was super bad from the Rhino Turtle, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I think it was just losing a life for nothing. Yeah. Maybe he forgot That's about that. He was like uh, just going fast and he forgot that the Enix would come back. But here the Enix is really good value. It's a plus two on this from the investigator also. Yeah, yeah. Well, how do you get rid of those two? The Ten and nine power are, are an issue. You have to. Uh, I yeah, feel like Young Fan is gonna win this. Yeah, I also Strange have Barrel this and Elephant, yeah, of course. Yeah, I have this they won't, they won't have a lot of impact here. I think here you have to block with the Froblin, right? Do you? Or do you attack with the Froblin? No, I think you can block with the Froblin. Mm. And then... No, no. Ah, that's annoying. You you want to get rid of the Axolot Healer for the Yeti. And then the Yeti can win, but you need to get rid of the Axolot Healer and the Boy Lion. Yeah, so you need to attack with Majestic, Majestic Manticore, get rid of the extra healer, and then hunt down, uh, then attack with the Long Yeti, the Girl Lion. No. But it's only getting power 10 when you don't have any cards left. No, no, it's now you need to work. Now you attack with a Manticore, right? Yeah, but, so, but it doesn't help, right? Rex, right? So, 
Uh, you know what? I would attack with the Yenix just to have some tempo and let the opponent play some farm, play or do something. Yeah. Because attacking with the Majestic Manticore is not good. You want to, to save it to block the Google Lion. But yeah, I mean, no, you are, ah, it's super hard. Because this one is just super annoying because of uh, blocking most of the other cards. Doesn't help, but it's like giving a lot of tempo to kill it. And now Yang Fan have to attack. Yeah, yeah, he has to do this. I think it's over for Yang Fan. I, I was seeing him winning, to yeah. be honest. Well, the Phoenix can still come back once. But the Gorilla Lion, yeah, that's but an issue. Gorilla Lion, Gorilla Lion for the win, and then there is two power seven. But the last card it's, of Kalsi does not really... matter. really. It's really, really close because yeah. he can get the Hyenix back. Yeah, but only one time. Only one time. Only one time. If he, would have so had one, if he would have had one life more. You know this uh, Axolotilo that he didn't want to mind bug? Maybe. Yes. Maybe that was the key. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. That, those two life. And now two extra life points if yeah. you would win the game. So, I don't know, That's but maybe really could have been close. a good, good play. Really close. One. Really close game. Very, very interesting game. To be honest, it's uh, it's really cool to to watch those two players playing. They are playing really good, and the game are getting super interesting. Well, well played, both. Yeah. To both of you. So well it's played, two young fan one for Kalzit to GG. So well played, one, Kalzit. One point already for Germany, and uh, we will know um, the the result when we spectate the two other match. So thank you all for watching and uh, see you soon. We will post uh, the next match uh, in, the, in the next few days. Thank you and bye-bye. See you. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye, guys.